Just before 9 o'clock on Sunday night, shocks rang out off Branch Mouth Road in San Ignacio Town. Joseph Budna was reportedly inside his bedroom with someone who frequented a cabin where he lived at Smith's family farm when a gunman opened fire. The bullet holes near the window are evidence of the barrage of bullets aimed at the property. Both Budna and his friend received injuries. Unfortunately, the young man died while receiving treatment at the San Ignacio Community Hospital. He congregate with us from time to time and he have his own colleagues and friends that he bring from time to time of his free will, no? Were you here on the property when the shots rang out? Well, we were having dinner last night about proximity at the same time I just told you about the 39 and uh, we heard uh, a, a screaming and uh, we heard someone running the, run the bushes too as well. Because we are um, approximately like about 25 yards from his house and uh, he, he asked for help and we screamed all of our family. Smith came out and went to his place that he resided and we saw him came out with, with blood on his, on his belly, blood on his feet and we um, called the police immediately. The policeman took about five minutes to come to present on their side and they are from there they take over. Manager Roy Smith says that Budna has been a tenant at the farm for the past nine months. He later realized that another person was mortally wounded inside the cabin. It was a frightening experience for Smith, who says that there are children who also live on the property and in proximity to the scene. I, I saw Mr. Budna came out humping with bleed blood on his, uh, on his side, as I told him, on the right side of his, his belly and his feet. And uh, we heard moaning in, in the house of like, someone else that we didn't recognize until the policeman came and brought him out on a stretcher. And he's one of the frequent friends of Mr. Bugner that he brings here from time to time. And, and they arrested them at the Sayanasa um, police station. Um, it's, it's very frightening for us to hear such amount of bullets. Uh, we heard about um, eight to nine bullets, you know, and it was very scary because we live pretty close and we have kids. We have our elders that live here too as well. It has been established that the deceased frequent Budna's home. However, Commissioner of Police Chester Williams says that investigators have not been able to identify who he is nor his age to confirm if he's a minor or an adult. Information was gathered that two persons were shot. One of those persons is a male adult and the other presumably is a minor. And I said presumably because we have not been able to get a proper identification of the second um, person. Um, those persons were taken to the hospital, um, displaying varying degrees of gunshot injuries. Um, the adult was treated and released, while the minor, the person presumed to be a minor, succumbed to injuries um, received. In interviewing the adult in this case, the adult is saying that him and this person, who is believed to be a minor, were in bed, lying, um, listening to some mellow music when the song of gunshots were heard and him and uh, the other person um, were injured. He further went on to disclose that he believed that the shooting was done by another person who he alleged wanted to engage in sexual activity with him for a certain sum of money but he do not have that amount of money, and so he declined that um, offer. Budna is no stranger to the local media or law enforcement. He is wanted by Guatemalan authorities after he escaped from prison for crimes of kidnapping and extortion. He has, over the years, also alleged police harassment. Is he now at risk of being charged locally for his engagement with the alleged minor? He ended up in bed with this other person who is believed to be a minor. Um, at this time, we're still investigating the matter to ascertain um, what really happened and to see if there is any possibility that charges can be brought against the adult. Um, again, it will be based on the age of this person. What we're gathering is that the person may be 16. Um, if it is of 16 years, then he would be within the age of consent. Um, if he's below 15, 16, then he would fall outside the range of consent and so we'll be able to look to see if we can bring charges against the male adult in this particular um, case. This is the activity of this individual, the, the, um, 
adult male in this um, particular instance, um, luring minors um, to engage in sexual activities. Um, and I mean male minors, not female. Um, so it's something that we're looking at. Dwayne Moody for News 5.